hello and welcome to FEM Expert. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you and explain how to perform an ANSI transient analysis on a simple structure. So, um, in this series, we're going to be talking about the transient analysis and their function. Basically, the difference between a static analysis and a transient analysis is represented by the, the variable time, which in turn leads to taking into account in inertias and other effects that will be determined and accelerations and other effects that will be determined by the fact that you have time. So this, these simulations are more really more realistic, although they require a lot more resources and not always they're necessary. So we're gonna have uh, for that we're gonna have this, we're gonna copy this part of the code, we're gonna paste it. As you can see we have a beam that's embedded on one of the ends. We're going to define a section for this beam, so we're going to go here to prepose section beam common sections. We're going to go phi 20. Uh, although I spell fi, it should be, it should, you understand, it should be phi. I'm going to have 20 divided by, a tau by 2000 because its rate is not diameter. And we're going to go LA size all 0 0.1 for the meshing size and L mesh comma all. Mesh comma all. So what we have here, we can check it on the E shape. It's a beam, a beam of a one meter and having 0 0.1 elements and a 20 millimeter diameter circular section so we're gonna deactivate a shape zero zero and i'm gonna show you how to start performing the transient analysis so for that we will have to go to solution then analysis type new analysis transient in the in the transient analysis there's a couple of things that we have to take into consideration those are we have to go to the solution control or the first thing is the time time you have to take into consideration what's happening in the time and if there's more time less time this is relevant for this type of simulations and um, also the number of sub steps you can put 10 sub steps we're going to put 10 right now you can put a thousand a hundred uh, one thousand it just depends on your necessities the type of simulation you're having but also the more sub steps you have the more power uh, computing power is required and the more the longer it will take also here we're gonna you can the frequency you can write it every sub step if you don't write every sub step you will obtain the the results for each uh, time that you simulated but you will not uh, obtain any of the behaviors that took place in between those so it depends on what type of simulation you're doing but for right now we're going to do every sub step 10 the time is going to be one here and for transient we're going to go here on transient we're going to do rampant loading instead of the step step loading this is, this is related to the how the how the loading is applied so for right now we're just going to leave it like that on rampant and on next tutorial we're going to uh, get more information about that so basically all the this was for the section and meshing all the stuff that we took that we intervened at so the number of sub steps the frequency of every every step here and the uh, transient which is kbc zero are written here so i'm going to just use this chunk of the code and paste it here so now what we're going to do is <coughs> we're going to take this time zero time one so at from zero to one we're going to apply acceleration of zero 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 so we're not going to do anything with the beam just for the sake of the simulation and then we have ls write one which would be the equivalent of low step option write ls and you would type here as l uh, one and you would write it this would be the same and it would write the first load step configuration with all of the characteristics all of the time the contour all of the um, boundary conditions that we would have at that moment with the model so we're going to write this so we have zero for the first moment then we have an acceleration of 9.81 so 1g at 1.5 seconds and the we're going to write that as ls write 2 so from 1 to 1.5 1 we're going to increase from 0 to 9.81 
meters a square second. Then we're gonna go to the third one, acceleration zero times two. So on the second two, we're not gonna have this anymore, this one G, we're just gonna uh, go to zero again, and we're gonna write the third step. And for the first step, we're gonna have go to time 10, and that's it. So time 10 is gonna be basically how the structure behaves by itself. One well, thing that you have to take into consideration and you will see when we analyze the results, for each load step, we are going to have 10 sub-steps. We're gonna see what that happens. Uh, to solve this simulation, we have to go solve from LS files one to four. You have to hit okay, or it's the same as doing LS solve one for one. So we're gonna sim simulate all of these load cases. And when we see, when we look at the results, here you can see the real results by pick. What we have here is from zero to one, we have 10 simulations from one to 1.5, 10 simulations and from 1.5 to 2, again, 10. Then, for example, here from 2 to 10, it would have 8, but because we asked for 10 sub-steps, we have 2.8, 3.6, 4.4, and so on. So it depends on the resolution that you have. For this simulation, it's not a, it's not a problem, but if you would have to, if you want to perform a complex simulation, you will have to modify the number of sub-steps depending on each one of these different sections from 1 to 1.5 from 1.5 to 2 etc also depending on the type of maneuver that you're simulating so anyway for this we're gonna just read the we're just gonna do the pn solve use zoom so we're gonna we're looking at the time 10 and we're looking at the end of the simulation we're gonna activate the shape we plotted and we're gonna also activate a d scale of 500 to amplify the maneuver so we can analyze it. We're gonna put the Z going up, upwards, and we're gonna go to plot controls, animate over time. We're gonna here put 100 cases. We're gonna go to one, two, 10. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. So animate over time, one, two, 10. We're gonna take away the auto control scaling the delay is going to be 0 0.2 and we're going to put the use zoom, the displacement summation and we're going to hit OK. So as you can see on the 500 uh, thing you can see that this is, ex this is extremely exaggerated but we're seeing that the structure goes upwards or goes downwards, comes back and then it starts vibrating. So we're going to go forward only and as you can see, these are the results that we that we obtain. Now we're gonna try to do a little modification. We're gonna go on to our, our file and we're gonna simulate a hundred cases per each one of these ones. So we're gonna change this and we're gonna simulate exactly the same thing. This will generate a lot more, a lot more simulations. It will require more time, but it will also provide us more um, more information, it would be, be making the results smoother. So we're gonna copy that, paste it, and it takes longer as you can see. It wasn't that bad. So we're gonna go on the general post processing by pick. And as you can see, there's a lot more simulations. We're gonna see, we have 400 simulations. It's gonna go again on this. It's gonna move a little bit the geometry plot controls animate over time, the same thing. And as you can see, you'll, you'll be able, if you pay attention, you'll be able to see slight differences compared to the previous situation. Not, they're not completely or too visible, this because also depends when we plot the videos, we also depend on the number of frames that we have here. So I'm gonna put 500, it's gonna take longer, obviously. You're plotting more results, way more results. But also the resolution of the result that you have is much better. So we're just gonna wait a few seconds until this uh, video is done. And we're gonna analyze how this uh, structure is behaving 
on a quite decent uh, on a quite, quite decent analysis having 500 frames for the video and having 400 simulations for the whole maneuver so as you can see it's um, it goes a little bit m smoother I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit and then you can see that our structure is going and vibrating up and down up and down which is what would be normally happening also we we have some limitations you can apply displacements instead of um, displacement instead of accelerations and other other stuff so the structure goes the same way that it goes down it would go up so that will be all for today's tutorial we hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation if you do please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button on our videos thank you for your attention